For teams that are just getting back to action, though, Utica College football played its first game in 16 months this afternoon. UC hosted Alfred University. The Pioneers already up a touchdown in quarter one, and senior Tim Hogan takes the handoff and powers into the pile for the score. 14 0 Utica College early in the second quarter. The Saxons scored their first points of the game after that, though. A field goal making it 14 3. Then late in quarter two, that interception by Darius Johnson. That sets up the Pioneers on the nine yard line. Look at the energy. They're happy to be back. So two plays later, senior Lamont McGriff takes the handoff and now he takes it home. 21-10 Utica College at halftime. Then they go right back to McGriff again. Stick with what's working. UC goes up by 18 as he gets to the end zone easier this time. Utica College had two punts in quarter four that were downed at the one yard line. So punter Mackie Medici and special teams were working really well for the Pioneers today. Add on a safety, by the way, on Alfred's final offensive possession of the game for two more Utica points. And that does it as UC wins 30-17 in their first game back. Head coach Blaze Faggiano said after the game that this is exactly what he hoped for. I have a lot of, a lot of pride at you know, Utica College and a lot of respect. Uh, Alfred University, uh, that our colleges were able to figure it out. You know, because you know, the naysayers can say, you know, why, why are you playing? What's it? Watch the kids out here today. That meant something today. And, and they all improved, right? And at the end of the day, that's what it's about. It's about them improving. And there's no doubt that both football programs will improve after this film, after this game today. Right on the headset, coaches were saying, yeah, this isn't practice, guys. Right? You got to finish plays. You got to finish by not blowing the whistle early today, you know? You know, I always think of the kids. And what a great opportunity today. And that the fact that, that Alfred's going to afford us the opportunity that we're going to go to their place next Monday, you know, uh, you know, we'll be excited for that as well. Baggiano says it was about getting video of them in game action today so that they're able to see how those players performed against another team. He says it'll be interesting now to see what both teams change in their play over the next few days before they rematch each other this coming Monday.